two big design names, one big question. Which one really delivers? On the left, Figma, the cloud-based collaboration powerhouse. On the right, Affinity Designer, known for robust vector and raster editing. Let's skip the buzzwords and dive into what actually matters. Each category earns points, and by the end, you'll see exactly who comes out on top. The result might just surprise you. Okay, first up, we've got a mind map of all the categories we're breaking down today. We'll start with pricing, then interface and experience, design capabilities, collaboration, and finally, community and support. So, grab a snack, because we're going all in. Let's kick things off with pricing. Starting with Figma, it's got a free plan for individuals, which is actually pretty sweet if you're just starting out or working solo. But, if you're scaling up with a team, um, well, the subscription fees can really stack up over time. Now, Affinity Designer just drops the mic here. A one-time purchase, and you're set. Like, no recurring charges, which is kind of refreshing. Plus, it's super cost-effective if you're working solo. Sure, the iPad version is cheaper, and yeah, no subscriptions anywhere. I mean, between the two, Affinity Designer is clearly grabbing the win for anyone watching their budget. Next up, Let's talk interface and experience. Figma's got that really clean, streamlined interface. It's genuinely great whether you're a beginner or some kind of design ninja. You might wish there were more customization options, but overall, it just feels welcoming. Switching to Affinity Designer, things get a bit more traditional. The workspace is highly customizable, which honestly is a big deal if you like tweaking your setup. The caveat, it can be a little intimidating for beginners with all those features staring you down. So for most people, Figma's simplicity steals the show here. All right, moving on to design capabilities. This is where things get interesting. Figma, super strong in prototyping. Design systems and quick UI UX flows, that's its thing. But when you try to get all fancy with advanced vector stuff, eh, not so much. Now, Affinity Designer is like hold my pen. It nails powerful vector and raster editing, and the illustration tools, it's got the works. You do miss out on some of those advanced UI UX prototyping features, but for pure illustration or vector art, Affinity Designer is the clear champ. Oh, and here's something cool that you might not know. Affinity Designer is often seen as a budget-friendly alternative to Adobe Illustrator. So, if you always wanted those premium vibes without that premium price, now you know. On to collaboration. And this is Figma's home turf. Real-time multi-user collab? It's almost magical watching your teammates move stuff around as you're working. Literally built for teams. Of course, it does depend on having a good internet connection, so offline work isn't its strong suit. Affinity Designer, on the other hand, is more of a lone wolf. Great for solo designers, and you get offline capabilities, but if you're hoping for those instant group edits or brainstorms, well, it's just not happening here. Figma definitely wins this round, hands down. Last, but not least, community and support. Figma shines with an active forum and tons of tutorials floating around, which is honestly super helpful if you ever get stuck. And Affinity Designer? It's not slacking either. You've got great tutorials and responsive email support. Both really have their communities dialed in. So calling it a tie. All right, let's pull up the radar chart now and see how these apps stack up visually across all the categories. You can really see where each punches above its weight. So, big picture, if you're all about teamwork, collaboration, and seamless UI UX design, Figma is your best bet. But if you want intense control and all the toys for vector and raster editing, and you're mainly working solo, Affinity Designer is tough to beat. Want more deep dives like this? Keep exploring. And hey, make sure to stay tuned for the latest design trends. You never know which tool might be your next favorite.